What's up everyone, this is Chale. Today we are going to be unboxing Crucial P1 500GB PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD. As per my research, Crucial P1 is the most affordable NVMe SSD in the market. I will be releasing a full review of this drive shortly, but for now, let's take a look at the box and what's inside. Quickly going through the box, on the front you will find the model number which is P1 along with the type of the interface which is non-volatile memory express or NVMe in short and the form factor which is M.2. On the left you will find the same information but you will also get to know the physical size of the Crucial P1 which is 2280. For those of you who don't know what 2280 means, it basically says that the width of the drive is 22mm and the length is 80mm. 2280 M.2 is a pretty common form factor and most of the recent motherboards support it. On the right, there is nothing related to SSD, so feel free to pause the video in case if you want to read the information. On the back, you can find the details of the importer, manufacturing date, MSRP and so on. Here you will also get to know that the Crucial P1 comes with a limited 5 years of warranty. Right beside that is one hole through which you can have a sneak peek of what's inside the box. There is nothing much to the unboxing. Inside the box you will find the SSD along with an information manual nicely wrapped in a secure plastic cover. Your motherboard should come with everything you need to securely install the SSD. As you might have noticed, the information regarding the sequential read and write speed is nowhere mentioned on the box, so the only place to look it up is on Crucial's website. The advertised speed of 500 GB Crucial P1 is 1900 megabytes per second read and 950 MB per second write significantly faster compared to a traditional 3.5 inch hard disk and even a 2.5 inch SSD. After seeing all these numbers, I know many of you might have this question that the performance of Crucial P1 is much slower compared to something like Samsung 970 EVO. And you are absolutely right. But Crucial P1 versus Samsung 970 EVO isn't even a fair comparison and here is why. SSDs come in four different storage types, namely single level cell or SLC, multi level cell or MLC, triple level cell or TLC, and quad level cell or QLC. As you can see in the diagram, moving from left to right, performance and durability increases but affordability decreases. While Samsung 970 EVO uses MLC and that is exactly the reason why it is a little bit expensive, Crucial P1 on the other hand uses QLC and thus it is the most affordable drive in the market right now. But it does come with the drawbacks of being the slowest and worst in terms of endurance. If that bothers you, Crucial P1 offers you up to 1.8 million hours and endurance of up to 200 terabytes total bytes return. A good thing to point out is that for whatever storage capacity of Crucial P1 you bought, you will never have access to the full capacity. And this information is written on the box as well. Like I said earlier, I will release a full review with benchmarks and my personal experience after I use it for a while. That's been it, thanks for watching, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.